What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. You can head to the link in my description below, sign up for my newsletter, and get a free graphic novel, which is great. All right, this is a book I've been meaning to do for a while. Always trying to get back to these Dark Horse Deluxe Editions of uh, manga. They are beautiful, beautiful books. I love the way they're put together. The Blade of the Immortal one, especially with this little inset art on it, just has a nice pop to it. Beautiful spine, and I assume the future books will all line up like this. This is volume one, which comprises the first three volumes of the manga, kind of combined into one, and my dog actually chewed up the the uh, <laughs> corner of this one. Womp womp. At least that slides into the bookshelf, so you can't really see it there. Got a beautiful construction, and of course, I love the little ribbon, the little ribbon bookmarks. Those are so classy. Now, I gotta be careful about what pages I open up to on this one because there is a little bit of uh, nudity towards the end, as I recall. It is a pretty graphic, violent book, as it is. But it's an MA. Uh, I believe it's a mature audience sort of deal. But absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's, it's a samurai era sort of piece where there's this immortal samurai who's got some, you know, sort of special ability to not die. He can get diced up and he kind of can chomp himself back together. And at first you're kind of confused. And I wasn't the only one who has had this confusion, but one of my readers and viewers also had the confusion at the beginning because of the way it's laid out. You kind of don't know what's going on. You see these battles going on. You get these beautiful sweeping pieces uh, towards the end of chapters here where there, where there are battles. Just oh, the art is so beautiful and incredible. And sometimes it switches from normal style to this like sort of pencil drawing, super detailed style. Very, very awesome to look at. But this immortal meets up with this young girl who her father had a samurai school, uh, a swordsman school sort of deal. And uh, she got slaughtered by this group trying to go and take over all of the schools. And so she vows revenge. And for the immortal fellow, who, you know, basically did some bad things in the past, vows to protect her and vows to only kill bad people from now on in order to try to atone for everything he's done. They go on a quest in order to uh, avenge her. And there's some great character development along the way. You you meet some very bizarre characters. One of the first villains is this character right here. And he actually attaches women's heads to his shoulders uh, in order to keep them with him. Very creepy, weird dude. Now, of course, the main character, the, the, the our immortal friend, gets beat up pretty bad. It's pretty Wolverine Marvel Comics style of, like, he gets almost killed but then kind of just reforms back together. There's another great spot in the middle where he actually meets up with an immortal and has to fight the immortal and ends up really having to chop him up in order to get him to finally die. Really gruesome stuff. These battles are very gruesome. Uh, there's uh, the, the nudity at the end is because one of the characters actually ends up in a whorehouse sort of situation. So, and uh, and she, she escapes through that. Probably the most interesting character through the whole piece, if I have to say so. But it, we're just starting on the travels here. I believe there's going to be 10 or 11 volumes of this deluxe edition once it's all the way done with the story. I look forward to it. I know there's a, also a big anime popular uh, version of this. But this is my first time experiencing this. Uh, I love the feudal Japan setting. Uh, I love everything that goes on with this. Uh, it's just so wonderfully done all the way around. Uh, I actually kind of like it better than Berserk. I know everybody's been telling me to read Berserk more. You, you get some of these cool illustrated paintings in here. Look at this stuff. Just absolutely gorgeous through here. Makes it makes it worth it all the way, all by itself. So, wonderful volume. This is a 10 out of 10. I can't wait for volume 2 to come out. I believe it's coming out in March of next year. They're really cranking these out. I know Berserk's on volume 6 of these, and... Helsing has two volumes out currently. So interesting stuff. Uh, one thing to note is that you might see that this does read uh, left to right like a standard American book or comic would when most manga would 
prop traditionally and properly go backwards like this. But what happened is when they actually scanned this art in the first time, uh, Hiroaki Samura gave them the art and actually reversed it and made the art so it's supposed to fit this way in this direction. So uh, they maintained that because that's the way they had their original scans and that's how they lettered it originally back in the day. And uh, the artist actually wanted it to be this way. So people have commented on that, but that is there's a reason for it. And uh, if that's what the artist wants, then that is the way we should read it. Sounds good. All right, hit that like and subscribe button, everybody. We will be back soon, and I'll be here. See ya.